You and I are going out to Dollar Tree. We're gonna check out what's new in the stores. It's been a quick minute since I've been there, a few weeks, and I can't wait to go explore it in a shop with me and of course, a little haul. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, Dollar Tree, it's time for Dollar Tree. We're gonna head out and do a shop with me, one of my favorite things to do on the channel, and show you all of the new stuff, specifically related to kids, plus a little bit extra here and there, and so that you can see what's new in stores. If you're new to my channel, I have to welcome you. Make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already, because we do educational ideas for kids, ideas and inspiration, so that you can learn through play. And of course, I gotta show you where I get all this stuff, which is one of the favorite things to do here on the Purple Alphabet. Alphabet. So click subscribe and you won't miss out on that. So let's head out to our Dollar Tree store and get started straight away. There's a lot to show you that's new. The summer party section is just simply amazing this year. I was really, really, really pleasantly surprised. Each style had a different color palette. This blue kind of aqua kind of color had this little seahorse fish theme to it, kind of an underwater theme. You could see here on the tumblers and on the plates, the little turtles on it. These are adorable. I'm really, really impressed. They even had drying dish mats and dishcloth towels. I mean, look how cute these dishcloth towels are and even plastic tablecloths. These are perfect to pull together a theme. It's already done for you. Over in the orangish, coral, reddish kind of color, it's really hard to describe what this color is. We had another theme. This one was a, star, a starfish theme. I like the plates and the colors. They had matching bowls. You could do a whole dinner setup. And the same thing, they had the dish drying towels, they had the dish cloths, they had the placemats, and they had the tablecloths. The, the bright pink theme had more of a tropical theme to it. So if you're into kind of the jungle and the flowers, maybe kind of a Hawaii theme, this would be perfect as well. And the same thing, they had all the same items, just in a slightly different color and in a different pattern. And of course, they also had a green theme, which had a floral, kind of a Hawaii flamingo vibe to it. So if you're into flamingos, this is one you definitely want to check out. And there's also some pineapples too. So it was kind of a mix of flamingos and pineapples. One of the best parts about this time at Dollar Tree are the sandals. Check out all the different sandal selections that they have for both adults and children. It was really hard to pick just one. All of the styles were so, so cute. Even for the adults, they were pretty cute as well. These do go super fast. So if you do see them in a size and a style that you like, you'll probably want to grab a pair because they probably won't be here the next time you drop in. Speaking of all of this dinnerware for your outdoors, check out these glasses. I love all the prints on them. Of course, they match all of the other dinnerware that I showed you, but they're super cute. They even had some little tumbler glasses with straws that came in all kinds of different shapes, like a beach ball and an ice cream cone. So you could really, really go all out if you wanted to. Here's a little bit of the party decor, mostly luau themed, but of course it does match the other table decor that they had. So you could have a great summer party, maybe with a tiki theme if you wanted to. And then they also had a whole bunch of summer signage. So they're pretty good at all the summer signage. Check out how cute these pineapples are. You could put those on a table. It'd be super adorable as are the flamingos. I'm not gonna show you all of the decor and the signs, but here's just a little brief overview of all the different kinds of styles that they do have. Look how cute these straws are. The flamingos, these are little umbrellas, and they even had some pineapples that flip open with tissue paper, really cute. And let's not forget about all the patriotic things that are coming in stock. We have Memorial Day coming up, we have 4th of July, lots of reasons to celebrate America. These things are perfect for decorating bicycles and tricycles for uh, the 4th of July parades. And then they had a ton, a ton of tableware. Um, so you can set your tables out too for your 4th of July picnics. I'm a huge fan of all of these little hot dog wrappers that you could put your food in if you're having a party outdoors or at a park and you just need to make sure that you dispose of everything. And then of course they had a lot of the flags and table decor that you could use to decorate for the 4th of July or Memorial Day as well. Here are the summer items. They're getting ready to pull, pull out all the things for the pool, for the swimming pool, for the park. This little guy is new this year. It's a wind up toy. It's 100% plastic. You wind it up and the little fins move around and you can put that in a body of water and watch your toy swim away. I haven't used these in a pool so I'm not quite sure if they work very well but they are adorable. And then of course we had to stop by the toy section. 
So there are a couple of new things here in the toy section, but a lot of repeats from last time I visited. These are a couple of vehicles that are new. These little stompers are new to me too. They have a little thing to put your foot in and you can stomp around. I like the ones that actually look like feet. They are really cute and they come in three different colors. You can also buy these name brand that have a little bit of a longer strap so you can hold on to them with your hands. They had a few outdoor essentials like frisbees and these jump ropes. Jump ropes are a great skill that every kindergartner should learn. It takes a little bit of practice but once they get it down, they get it down well. And then I have to ask you guys, what do you think about the flags from the Dollar Tree? Do they work? Have you tried them? Please. Please, please let me know, I'm very curious. And then the bubble wands this year are much, much bigger than previous years. I think these are a steal and they are a great find for the summer. This little guy was in my Dollar Tree toy test last year and it was a success. I definitely recommend this one. It is just a little styrofoam glider that you make. So these are back in stock, a lot of them. The little etch-a-sketches that are perfect for a restaurant kit. They're just small and tiny and they work really well. Here's a new one to me. It's a light up spinner that launches and it has an LED light inside. Haven't tried it, but it did look interesting. And then I did see all of those building kits that were in my last toy test. You guys told me the airplane and the motorcycle one were pretty good. So maybe you guys should try that to see what you think. Silly Putty is a great hand strengthening tool. So if you haven't tried this with your kids to really work those hand muscles, that is a really good option. And the name brand is at Dollar Tree. Lock stars have been popping up at all of the Dollar Trees. I've been seeing it all over Instagram. These are toys that were in your mainstream stores that have found their way to the Dollar Tree. And so these are actually worth far more than a dollar. They had so many different styles to choose from. Pretty much all you, and then of course they had the Zoom Zoom characters. These come back every now and then. And you guys ask me, where are they? When do I get them? If you see these, pick them up. They come back there. The same exact ones you see at Target. And they are great stocking stuffers. They're great for Easter baskets. Put them away, give them away as gifts. Just grab a couple. This one even had Minnie Mouse in it and Ariel. They are super, super cute. And they even had the little plush ones. The little stained glass painting kits are also a favorite. And I found a couple of restocked shelves of that. So those are great summer activities if you want to stay inside and get cool. We stopped by the teacher section of the store and I found a few new finds. Check out these building circles. They interlock with one another. I I haven't tried them so I don't know if they would work very well. Also these little links that you can link up and build things too. These are great as manip manipulatives, they're good STEM activities, you can do various activities with these if you got a couple of packages so these are a good find. You can find these in name brand places as well. Of course they always have these foam blocks which are great and then I found these fraction circles which are perfect learning too. I have some of these from the Target dollar section. And my favorite building blocks and also the rubbing plates were restocked which are a fun, fun find and these are great size for restaurant kits as well. Check out all of the books. They are fully, fully stocked but I had to check out all of the educational books so I found a couple of these new styles to me. The, I think these have been around for a while but this one right here, the learning activity activity workbook. These are new to the Dollar Tree. I have not seen these before. If you're looking for workbooks, these little Sesame Street ones are perfect for your preschool level. They had alphabets and numbers. And then they also have some in the Crayola brand, which are just as good, but it's just a little bit different. And then the Little People brand. We've used all of these before in the past. They are great beginner workbooks and they cover all of your basic skills. And if you look over in the book section and see these sticker puzzle books, these are a purple alphabet favor, favorite. These are a purple alphabet favorite, hands down. Gotta love these. You just match up the stickers to the number to create a picture. They're perfect for knowing your numbers. And then these number books as well, and they're great for restaurant kits. In the arts and crafts section, I didn't see too many new things except this paint your own pot. It comes with a little pot and the paints and the paintbrush. I thought that was pretty cute. It would make a great Mother's Day gift if you need one of those. And then I found these chalk bags, which are for chalk bursts, which I'm not 100% sure what you do with them. Let me me know if you know. And here are the little organizers. These come in stock every now and then and they are perfect for fitting little Lego kits and other miscellaneous toys. And then here are the rings that you could use to put together flashcards and all sorts of other things. Down the floral aisle, if you're doing fairy kits, look at all of these little moss stones and little moss packets. These are perfect for creating a fairy garden. I didn't see very many fairy garden pieces except this one, but it looks like there's still a couple out into the store. And then I like these little gems. They make great 
manipulatives for those non-oral children who don't put things in their mouths. I have a whole bunch of these organizers, but look at these new ones that have little sayings on them and come in different colors. Be a mermaid and make waves, super cute, comes in purple. Here is a black one with some white writing and then a blue one. That's cause life's a beach. And then I also found these that had divided compartments in them. I haven't seen these before, but these looked really, really good. And then in the container section, lots and lots of storage containers this time of year for spring cleaning. And a couple of favorites that I found included these little small containers and the little bonus ones that come three to a pack for each basket. These are steel and they fit perfectly in drawers. And of course, what's a Dollar Tree shop with me without a little bit of a haul? I showed you some things that I found there in store, but I wanted to show you the little bit that I did end up buying. Okay, so let's start off with some fun summer stuff. They had so many sandals and I only ended up with two pairs. I don't have high expectation for these because they are a dollar and they're from the Dollar Tree, but they're gonna be perfect for playing outside with water play. They're gonna be perfect for when they just need a quick thing on their feet. And then we'll probably even take them to the beach, but I love them. They're super cute, the styles. We have the watermelon ones here and the mermaids. I didn't see a lot in smaller sizes. This is actually the only one I saw in a small size and it's a 11 and 12 so I'm not quite sure how low they do go if you know let me know in the comments so other people can see but I think they're just really really adorable we wanted to get more but you know what you really don't need more <laughs> we do I do have a college graduate in my house I know not a lot of people know that about me but I do have an older daughter who is graduating her senior year of college this year so um, in just a few weeks actually so we have some little shakers these are wands I have some ribbon attached to them I thought it'd be fun for my little girls to have these just to kind of celebrate and then we have a necklace they had a whole bunch of these necklaces with the year on them um, we picked just the black one with the hat on the 2019 and then also I thought would be a fun gift I love these we got a couple of these for Christmas time where they you can't really tell now because all the glitter is all over the place but you shake them up like a snow globe there's a whole bunch of glitter inside but you can put a photo inside there in the very back although you can't tell but the photo just slides out right here and you put it inside so a picture of her graduating or her favorite graduation picture could go right inside there they had so much graduation stuff, especially for parties. And then also we got a card to match. And so I like that everything's just kind of uniform in color, just like your gold and silver. So you could pretty much match any school. And these also work great for high school or preschool or eighth grade. Speaking of cards, I also picked up a Mother's Day card. They had some really pretty cards. They don't have much written on the inside, but that's where you come in and to play, where you have to write a little message in there. But I did pick up a Mother's Day card. Do this early because they sell and get picked over pretty quick. I didn't get very much 4th of July stuff because there's still some time for that. So you might see 4th of July stuff in hauls coming up later. But I did pick up some of the activity books, the new ones that I hadn't seen before. So this one, let's see, we had math, math, language arts, and language arts. So I have um, two age ranges. So this one is the first to second grade, this one's kindergarten to first grade, and same thing with here too, the two different levels. And I get these because upcoming is summer, and so we can use these during the summer or in restaurant kits just to keep our skills sharp because they do tend to get forgotten very quickly, right? And I like these because um, I haven't seen them before and they seem to be a really good level for each one of my children. So those are those four. And then behind here, I got one of those ready to read and write books, which is a little bit different. And um, I don't think we've tried this one before when I look through it. No, we haven't. So this is also another one that we can use as a review in the summer or putting inside a restaurant kit. So these are always a great steal and a bargain. And also if you wanna keep these and hold on to them for some time, and we even pull them out later when they are age appropriate, that's always a smart thing to do because they sell through these pretty quick. It is bonus days. So I did get a package of um, bonus days microfiber cleaning cloths just to have and dust around the house. So this normally comes with two to a pack. It comes to three in the pack as with all of the bonus days, there's always an extra one in the package. I did get some um, little organizer baskets and I'm not showing them to you here because they are 
30 in my bathroom. So, but I did get some baskets. So good deal on all the bonus buys. And then as per usual, I did stock up on my favorite essentials. You know, Claire Slate, who does Dollar Tree hauls, got me hooked on the Soft Whisper brand. So I use those regularly. They don't dry up my skin very much, but I do just normally get some dry skin every now and then. And I like this kind of lotion too. Um, great deal on all three of these. You guys, leave me a comment down below. I love hearing your opinions, the things you're liking, the things you aren't liking, the things you want to see more of. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments. And click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.